I think that uh, TA teams historically have been very much uh, involved with looking at uh, time to hire and cost per hire. But I think increasingly it's the quality of hire that they, they need to find. Um, it's not an easy metric because quality can mean many different things. It's not just the longevity of somebody. Um, I think it's how somebody performs once they join, how successful they've been. Um, that's how they're going to make the major impact. Uh, is by finding out, not, not, not getting somebody in quickly to fill an open vacancy, but actually getting somebody into the business who contributes longer term to the business. Um, and that will be defined by a number of the business metrics. Um, they also probably need to understand the retention uh, rates of the people that they find. Uh, if they're hiring in people who are kind of leaving between 6 to 12 months, it could be that there is something wrong with the recruitment or interview process which is giving people the wrong impression. For me, I think it is mostly about how you uh, manage candidate experience overall. Um, when you have happy customers, you know, then then you have then you have a very positive impact that you've already done on um, um, on the business, on the kind of people. So it is about we believe that you know you're showing them a glimpse into your culture. So the first thing that I think everybody should focus on is candidate experience. Treat them well. Treat them like partners already. Uh, then you know that the impact is right, and you know that the impact is always as per what the business wants and uh, the next thing obviously is diversify and innovate your sources of hiring we no longer depend on traditional approaches of how we should hire people or what we should do um, it has to be about you know finding multiple sources to find top talent uh, what is best suited for your organization not just from a skill set perspective but from a behavioral approach, um, culture aspect, you know, it has to be a complete package of all of that. You don't know the skills, it is easy for you to you know, teach somebody that, but certain core aspects of behavior is not something that, that you can teach anyone. So these, according to me, are uh, top priorities always. Would TA professionals should learn how to measure empathy uh, and track empathy. Uh, measure candidate experience and track candidate experience. Uh, measure the impact a candidate could create pre-joining and post-joining. I think these are three crucial metrics according to me. Uh, I think if you look at traditionally, uh, TA has been tracking, you know, turnaround time, cost of hire, etc. But in today's changing ecosystem of social media digitization, I think the, a, a new metric that should be tracked should be your engagement score with your talent pool on social media. Uh, you may not hire them immediately, but you're engaging them through your content on various social media platforms. And that tells you how much of attraction you're able to create for your prospective talent pool. And those engagement scores are available in each and every social media. Uh, I think that's the one top of the mind metric I think we should start practicing in DA. Cost, quality, delivery. Cost and delivery is just going to be the same. Quality is one thing which is qualitative which keeps changing. The standards of quality are going up in the social life and so is happening in the business life. In my opinion, the first and foremost uh, you know, measure, and that's something that we do at Group M also, uh, is the financial impact, right? Uh, so today we hired about, we, last year we hired about 757 people uh, in Group M. Uh, almost 97% of those people were hired through non-paid sources. Um, and that means literally saving the organization about 10 and a half crores in terms of um, uh, in terms of savings and that directly goes into your you know top line your bottom line whatever it is and um, I think that is a direct direct impact on the business because you know one it, it says that you know we are just not a cost center we are also now uh, adding uh, value in terms of monetary value to the organization also it also speaks volumes about the efficiency that that we have actually brought into our uh, recruitment process uh, the second I feel is important and because this kind of 
uh, focuses on the quality of hire that you bring into the organization and this is a metric that i measure for my team uh, which is your uh, which is your retention retention of your of your hires in the first 6 months uh, because that kind of tells you what is the quality of hire that you have brought into the system what kind of checks filters uh, interview processes questions that you've asked that you know to make sure that the right person is coming into the system um so for example uh, you know we we've, we've uh, we the metric for us is uh, you know the retention for employees who have completed 6 months up to 6 months in the organization is 90% and above so we want to make sure um that so that so we don't lose them so it just speaks volumes about the quality of the candidates that we're bringing into the system um the third i would say is uh, is a common one across uh, industries which would be um you know the turnaround time right say at the end of the day getting somebody on time is also as critical as getting the getting them uh, you know the quality candidates because you need to get them when they are needed and so so the turnaround time closing positions at the right time is also very critical so these are the three me- measures uh, three metrics that i measure for us as a ta function and also for my team members which is a direct impact on the business because if you if you for example don't have the right person to do the job the business gets impacted pressure on the others biz loss of business so so i have not three but fourth uh, <laughs> but a fourth one as well but the top three for sure that all ta professionals should track and definitely most of them track one is of course speed uh which is the time to turn around from the time the requisition opens to the time the requisition closes with an offer acceptance and then of course that can also extend to when the candidate joins the organization so that's the first one um the second one is cost uh most organizations nowadays have sourcing teams or emphasize a lot on direct sourcing um so how much of uh cost is being spent on hiring a candidate is the second one um and the third one for sure is the diversity mix uh, i think a lot of the organizations are emphasizing on diversity so just to have an understanding on at the time of hiring what is the diversity mix of the new hires is important as well the fourth one which is a more softer one than a harder matrix is uh, quality um and that typically doesn't happen could not may not happen at the time of hiring uh but definitely after a year that the new hire joins uh what is the performance ratings of the new hires post a year of joining could be a fourth matrix could be track post the joining of the new hire which talent acquisition should keep in front of them i think uh, for me one of the most important since there are three while we have you know time to find and time to accept right they continue to be important things that we track uh, for me the most important is really quality of hire i think one of the most uh, difficult to measure I, i don't think we found a formula really to measure that because it's more in a long term uh, basis but quality of hire for me i i believe is one of the most important metrics and if we do get that right you know we will make a lot of difference So I think traditionally it's always been about cost, time and quality. So the cost of hiring an individual, the time it takes to hire an individual and uh the the quality of the individual, right? So how how good is the talent you're getting in? But I think as things are changing as to your question of answering uh what it would be, I think in many cases like you saw even on our panel, you have people who are business success owners. but what they're doing is basically they're revenue generators but they're revenue generators because they're getting in the right people so that could be one saying the talent acquisition essentially means how much are you contributing either to the revenue line or the cost line the second thing that could be for ta professionals is what is the index of experience that you're providing to your candidates on the one hand and the hiring managers on the other marketing companies sales companies have been doing it through nps over many years i think there's no reason why there shouldn't be an nps for uh, recruiting functions so that could be the second one and the third in the new world it would be how quickly are you adopting technology because if you don't do it you can't hire at scale and from a more diverse workforce so those would be the three so uh, at our organization we are having two key metrics that we are focusing on one is the attrition that is tenor based the early attrition and the annual attrition and the second uh, metrics that we are focusing on is productivity 
because productivity in a particular number of months from the time you've onboarded till the time you are there in the system what is a top percentile or the quartile which is contributing to the you know the top 50% of the business outcome that for us are the two matrices that we are targeting